Hi everyone, it's Amanda, and today I'm going to show you how to set up online giving. I'm working from my phone today, but you can also do this from your computer going to graceconnect.com and selecting Give on the top menu. I actually access this through our Grace Connect app. You can also go to just graceconnect.com from the browser on your phone. So when I hit Donate on our Grace Connect app, it takes us to our giving page. So there's a giving form here. If you already have an account set up, you can hit sign in, but I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to do this from scratch. There's a thing that says choose a fund. This allows you to select if you are giving as part of a tithe or an offering. If it's an offering, you can designate where it wants to go. Um, by selecting other, these are things like you're giving towards a Master Life book or something like the iPad ministry that we currently have going on. You can give to an, an event. So if, when we ask for donations for things like Vacation Bible School or Fun in the Sun um, ministries, those are like if you want to help out the pantry, the care ministry, um, children's youth, that kind of stuff. And then finally, missionaries. And you have the option to select a specific missionary that you want your donation to go through. Today, I'm just going to tithe. Now, when you do that, there's an option here you can hit add donation and it adds another one here. And so if maybe you want to tithe, but then you also want to pay for your master life book, or maybe you want to tithe and then also give towards a missionary, or you want to give towards multiple missionaries. That's where you would use this feature. If you accidentally tap add a donation, it will make you fill this out. So you can see right here, there's a little trash can icon. That is what you're going to hit if you accidentally um, hit add a donation and you don't want to do that. So I'm going to take that away because I'm just tithing. There's an option here where there's a comment box. You're basically using that like a memo line on a check. So anything that the office would need to know about your donation, you can notate it there. You can select make this a reoccurring gift where it'll allow you to set up a scheduled payment maybe every other week, every week, whatever you want to do. And then it's going to ask you how you would like to give, by your bank account or by your credit card. And then you're going to fill out your billing information all the way down at the bottom. Finally, there's a little box right here that says, would you like to add 3% to help cover the cost of processing? Anything that you do with a credit card is going, or a debit card, is going to require a processing fee. A lot of businesses just round this into the cost of their products. Um, since we are not a business, you have the option to either select that or not. If you don't select that, that's totally fine, and know that you still get full credit for your tithe or your offering. We don't take that processing fee out of there. And finally, you hit submit, double check that everything is completely how you want it first, and then you hit submit. One of the really cool features is if you hit sign in, it remembers you. So I'm going to sign in. And then one of the things that you can do is up here at my account, you can hit that. It'll allow you to see all of your scheduled payments. It'll allow you to see your payment history. The church does send out a giving um, history for tax purposes at the beginning of every new year in January uh, for the previous year, but you can always see your history. So if you can't remember if you paid for something or not, you can check there. This also gives you the option to change your personal information or change your account information. We hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions at all about using online giving or our app or any of our online features, you can contact the office. You can call, text, or email us, and we're there to help you anytime. Thank you, and we hope you have a great day.